On Friday, the New York Times reported, and on Saturday, a White House official responded to the story that President Obama had issued a secret order continuing combat operations in 2015 after their planned end on December 31st. More has come out uh, on that. The government of the new Afghani president, Ashraf Ghani, apparently has quietly lifted the ban on night raids by special forces troops that his predecessor, Karzai, had imposed. The Afghan National Army Special Forces units are planning to resume the raids in 2015, and in some cases, the raids will include members of American Special Ops units in, in an advisory role. They'll do ride-alongs. I wonder if they'll be armed. My guess is yes. This news comes after the published accounts of this order by President Obama to allow the American military to continue some limited combat operations in 2015. This is my favorite part of this piece. That they're no longer going to call them night raids because they developed a bad name in country because it led to so many civilian deaths. The American military has renamed them Night Operations. There you go, folks. That's all it takes. We're no longer doing night raids. Woozy's got some night moves. <laughs> and remember, these American forces will just be advisors. As in, I advise you to kick the door in and have everyone flat on their stomachs. In fact, I would imagine the advisors come in and advise those civilians. They, they can cut out the middleman. That's the, right. On the advice. So uh, there's going to be more raids on um, uh, in Afghanistan. It's going to go into 2015 at least. According to the unnamed White House official, the American mission in 2015 would be primarily training, primarily training, advising, and assisting the Afghan National Security Forces. As part of this mission, primarily, in other words, at least 51% of what they do will be training. As part of this mission, the United States may provide combat enabler support. to Afghan special forces in limited circumstances to prevent detrimental strategic effects to these Afghan security forces. Combat enabler is military jargon for functions like air support, transportation, intelligence gathering, and communications. And probably also combat. Nazfula Zarzai, uh, Mr. Ghani's spokesman, said that the American and NATO missions in 2015 would be governed by the security agreements that the Afghan government has signed with the U.S. and with NATO. And then deep, deep, deep at the end of this piece, Haj Abdullah Jan, a local Shura leader in the Maiwan district of Kandahar province, I'm not in favor of night raids because we've experienced such huge losses from them during those past years. So at least we heard both sides. And there you have it. I imagine that will be one of the projects of the ne next defense secretary.